I want to talk to you about something that's very important uh, because there is a lot of misinformation out there. A lot of people are saying incorrect things or, or just believe incorrect things. It uh, has to do with taxes and changes from the federal government that are taking into effect uh, starting off with the 2022 tax year. This video is sponsored by Mercari, so I'll use them as an example, but these rules apply to anyone who is making money online. It has to do with 1099K forms. What a 1099K form is, is a record of how much money you have received. It's not your profit, it's the money you've received. So when I sell something on Mercari, there are three main types of charges, basically, that are built into the overall charge a customer pays. That's going to be the item fee, the shipping fee, and the sales tax fee. I hate that I have to say this, but I know if I don't, someone's going to be confused by it. When I say fee, that just is used as a placeholder to represent the different aspects of the total charge. The sales tax fee is totally separate, but the item fee and the shipping fee, that is what, when I receive it, is called the gross revenue. A 1099K accounts for all of your gross revenue. Why is this important? Well, because previously, anyone who made $20,000 or more and had 200 transactions would get this 1099K. But now what's happening is anyone who has more than $600 in charges gets this form. So this does not have to do with your tax burden because any profit you make, any gains you make, those have always been taxed. And as far as I can tell, they will always be taxed. This is not a change in taxes but a change in tax forms. Those are the first two big misconceptions. Not a new tax, not a new tax, and also not from the platforms. It is mandated by the federal government. So why do we care about this? Well, as resellers, most of us do this for a profit, but not everyone does. If you are someone who sells your personal items or, or things you, you bought at a store and sell at a loss, this is very important because now a hobbyist, for example, who sold 690 bucks previously would not have gotten this 1099k form. Now they are. What they should do and what you should do to make sure you're not overpaying your taxes or underpaying for that matter is keep good records. You want to have at least physical copies. Personally, I recommend physical and digital copies because you can lose receipts. Sometimes receipts aren't itemized. Sometimes the ink fades. There are tons of reasons to have both digital and physical copies uh, for your own records because that's the way you're gonna understand what your profit is. Here's how I try and keep good records. And keep in mind that I am a large seller, so I might be a bit overkill, but if you wanna be like me, do this. Firstly, I make sure that my receipts can be reconciled against my bank statements. And secondly, I pull reports from all the platforms I sell on that have my gross revenue and fees paid. That makes tax time much easier. In addition to what the cost of items are, if you sell on Mercari, there are also platform fees. So we're going to look at the back end of Mercari's dashboard right now, and you're going to see the revenue I've made. That revenue number? That is the number that will be on my 1099K. Okay, we've got Mercari pulled up. This is a seller dashboard. Oh, look at that. Get ahead of taxes. Fill out your W-9 right there. Extremely simple to do. Uh, and then we have our revenue here and our profit here. Profit is what goes into my account, but revenue, that's what goes on my 1099K. And that's the number that we are subtracting all our expenses all of our cost of goods off of. Very simple, that's how it's always been, but now 
uh, these platforms like Mercari are helping us out by giving us this form no matter how much we've made, assuming it's 600 bucks or more. If you're new to this, if you're a new reseller and you're kind of scared by this or you're curious about how much you should put into an account to hold for tax time, don't worry, uh, I will help you through that. So what I do and what I think most of you are gonna do, and I wanna say this right now, if you're unsure of anything, make sure you talk to a tax professional. They're the ones who will absolutely know for sure what's going on. You know, I do my own taxes, I can talk from experience, but I am not your tax advisor or anyone who's working in an official capacity for you. So what I do is I keep about 30% of my net profit. The amount you're actually forced to pay is going to be different based on your tax income bracket, but for most people, 30% should be okay. If you're concerned about making a big lump sum tax payment, what you can also do is make quarterly estimated payments. Now these are all federal taxes, but there are also state income taxes. Not every state has an income tax, but if you live in one who doesn't, you probably already know that. This is not that big of a deal. I know a lot of people are freaking out about it, but here are the facts. You're not gonna owe any more in tax than you otherwise would have. It is merely a change in who is being sent documents that clarify the revenue amount that the government's being notified of that you have earned. Uh, it's helpful, not harmful. All of these documents just really make paying taxes easier. If you have any questions or you're curious, I'm going to link a ton of helpful documents below. There's IRS, uh, FAQs, there's a link to irs.gov free file. Uh, you can use H&R Block or you can use TurboTax, but the government does offer you a free option if you are an individual taxpayer. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Mercari for sponsoring the video. Always appreciate the support. And I always encourage you guys to continue selling on Mercari. I use it along with all the other platforms. I think it's a great place for in-demand uh, items. And generally, I get about 10% more on like video games and t-shirts than I do on eBay or Amazon. So I love it for that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you want to watch a video that I really like making about Mercari, you can watch that one right here. I think you're going to like it. See you later.